this video, I'm going to share with you how to create minimal style digital stickers, how to do it quicker and let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get some inspiration because if you just try to create something from scratch, it becomes quite complicated. And also I would like to talk about what, you know, we can notice from all these stickers and what we can learn from them. So of course there are different styles and people like different things, but if we are looking for minimal style stickers, I think some of them stand out more than others. So for example, you can see that these free digital stickers for me, they stand out because there's a lot of white space. Um, maybe for you, you feel differently, but the biggest thing is just to find the stickers that you like the most. If Pinterest doesn't work, I usually go to Etsy and here Etsy helps me and it says popular or bestseller. So then of course I'm interested in checking this out. Now there's two parts to this video. So one part is how to create those pre-cropped stickers immediately so you don't have to cut them in any way, shape or form. And then another part is how we change the color really quickly so that we get you know, from let's say 10 stickers, we get 50 stickers because we have five different colors and we can do it in one click. So let's say I decided I like this one. Um, and I also had my eyes on another one, which I don't really see right now, but doesn't matter, I can find something else. So let's say I like this one. And I had also this one open, I like it as well. So then what I would do, obviously I'm not gonna just copy them, that's not fair for the creators, but I usually get inspired and I just give my own twist. So let's say I do that. Especially if you want to sell it on Etsy, it's incredibly important that you choose something that people already want. And I don't know if I would specifically recommend doing minimal stickers for an Etsy shop, I maybe would recommend doing something more um, niche because this is, you know, there's a lot of people that created minimal stickers. But for example, here they made it a little bit more specific by creating them for work. So let's do that. Let's create some minimal stickers for work. And as you can see, these are really nice. I like them already. There are some labels. So let's start from the labels. So then I'll just go to Canva. And now the biggest thing is the size of our sticker sheet. Depends what you want to do with it. If you want to print them out, then you need a huge size, a big size, the bigger the better. But if I'm, let's say, using it for GoodNotes, then I will say GoodNotes standard size, and I'm just going to copy the size of the page. So I'm going to just use this one. Now Canva is not going to let me uh, use these kinds of numbers. Anytime you use something with a comma, it's says no, so I'm just going to make the number smaller and I'm going to use this one 588. I'm going to go to Canva. So let's go here and create a new design. Now that we're, we have created a new design, we have it here. If you didn't want it vertical, like of course you can change it, doesn't matter. But I'm just going to stay with this. And then I usually take a screenshot of the things that I like. So let's say I like this whole icon thing and uh, labels. I'm just gonna post them here so I see them, I don't forget about them. And now what's really important is that we choose the color palette. So let's say I like nude colors. Um, so I'll go to Pinterest and just choose nude colors, type it in the search, and then I can just see what I like. So let's say I like this one. I don't know if you can see it, but I like these uh, muted tones. So I'm just gonna take another screenshot and I'm gonna paste it here. So now I have my colors ready. Let's start creating labels. So I'm gonna create a new page. It's just easier for me. And now it really depends on how you want to do it. So if you want to create one sticker per page, that's fine, but then you need to change the size of it because obviously this is too big. The way it would look is just, I create a shape and that's it. That's my sticker is ready. That's it. That's literally what you need to do. Um, but so, and then you just save it and export it as a, a PNG. Now, let's say I want to create more labels, so I'm just going to make it uh, thinner. You can see how big or small you want it. I just like this. And then I'm going to copy this style where it has a little circle. So maybe instead of a circle, I'm going to have a square. And 
and then I add it to the beginning. So there's my main shape. Obviously the color is wrong. So then I just choose the color picker tool and click on the color that I like. So I can do it one color or I can just make it a little darker. So this is how it's gonna look like. Now I'm not gonna have a um, line around it. Instead, I'm gonna have a shadow. So I just go to shadow. If you want to print this, then I wouldn't recommend doing this, but if you want it just for your GoodNotes file, you can definitely add some shadows. I don't know if this shape is not too weird for that, but let's just try it out. Let me just put it under, see how it looks like. I don't know if I'm into it or not, but yeah, maybe I will create two of them. Let me make it brighter. And then I'm going to create another one. So here it is, and I resize it here. So I have that. I will move the little thing up so it's not... I don't know if I really need it. I don't know if I like it, to be honest. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it and create a new one. I'm just going to delete the shadows. So that's how I do it. And then these are kind of big, so I can make them smaller if I want, but it's fine. And I'm going to just create multiple ones. And then I'm going to add some text. So let's say uh, one is going to be my to-do list. And of course, you can choose the color, the font, the everything. Um, I'm going to make the letters bigger. I'm going to maybe make them bold. No, it's not minimal. Minimalism, like it needs, it needs to be, you know, barely there. And then here I can add an icon, so I can just type in checklist, go to graphics and just choose an icon that I like. Maybe I like this one, so I'm just going to choose this one, make it smaller, drag it and make it white. Now, one of the things that minimalism has for sure, it is that most things are with thinner lines and also th they have a lot of white space. So I want to make sure that everything I do has white space. I will also add it here. So now I can select both of these and I can position them in the center. See, the first sticker has been created, super easy, uh, super nice. Now, if I'm not sure about the font, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just drag the same thing here, actually, and then I'm going to choose a different font, let's say I like this one. Um, it's very similar, maybe something else, maybe not this one, so maybe something handwritten. Yeah, so I can do it like this and now I can write for example, um, Monday or something else. Now you can barely see it, so I'm gonna make it bigger. And for this, I'm not gonna do such a crazy letter spacing. Let's do it even bigger, and here it is. And now I just need to resize these, and here we have our little thing. If you feel like changing the color, obviously you can. And then this, I can change the color also. If you don't find the icon that you want, you can go to flaticon.com and then here you can download um, the vector files. So let's say I write check, uh, checklist, checklist. And then I will find all these different icons uh, that I can use. And maybe I want something like this or this or whatever. So I can definitely choose different icons, they don't have to be from Canva. Uh, next up, I'm going to make it white, so I like it a little better. And I'm going to change um, to the last one. I just have to select them separately, unfortunately. Here, um, and I'm going to choose and do another one. And let's say I'm going to just write weekend and then change an icon to something like so. And I like this one, it's more like hand drawn. And I'm gonna just place it here. So, here, these are the first icons. Now, if I can group these, oh, 
I'm going to go this and this and this. And I'm using Command G, but you can also just click this button. And then I select all of them and I choose position, put them in the center, draw out. Um, sorry, I just divide them vertically. And then here, I don't think they're in the center, but never mind. So I just drag them a little bit. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to take a copy of this and then we're going to go to styles. And we're just going to choose a different style and that way you can quickly change the colors of your icons um i can choose this and then once i'm happy with the color i will just delete the background thing so it's because when i um, download it it has to be transparent so that's that i can change them also manually um, by choosing this palette that i had or I can also edit um, some palettes and add a new one. I can add custom palettes if I want and add it here so that I don't have to, you know, do it manually. But I can also choose the colors here if I want. Many different options how you can do it. I can create a color palette. The only annoying thing is that I have to kind of go back and forth, but I will just duplicate this page and then I will um, turn this off okay. and then I'm gonna go click on something choose the color choose the color picker and then choose one of the colors so I know the the codes for the colors um, so for example this one is this code and then I can just add them like this manually just have to go to styles again because I turned it off <laughs> And I go to um, the my color palette and just add the colors that I like. So I just go back and forth between the two to do that. And it's really you do it once, then you have it forever. So it's really not that difficult. Let me just create one more. So and the last one, I don't remember which color it was. Let's say it's that dark. Um, gray and again you don't have to uh, do that but for me it's just more convenient later on maybe I just um, delete these and let's say I do this one and then I delete this one and that's it and that's all I need and then it's right here so now when I click on a page let's say I click on this one I will just click on the thing and it will change the colors for me. So that's really convenient and that's how you create a lot of different sheets really, really quick. Now let's do something else. Let's do a different uh, style. So let's say I was looking at these examples and here they have these little widgets. So widgets are really nice because you can just have a really aesthetically pleasing to-do list or your follow your monthly habits and things like that. Or like here you have a 30 day challenge or you can have quotes. I mean, the list is endless. So let's go here and then let's add something more. Um, I don't like the, 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 the I want it uh, without the background. Let me just do that and then let me turn this off. Okay. So, um, let me just do it again. Okay, I will just have to change it to white for some reason, but never mind. So here, I have these. If I don't like some parts of them, I can always, always, always change it. So I will just hunger. And then I will change those to white, for example. Okay, but I have to do it one by one. I don't know why, but that's how it is. You just have to. Okay, so we have that and then let's go to the widgets. So with the widgets, all I do is I'm going to even go to elements, type in widget, see if something uh, pops up. Not really. Type in to-do list. Go to graphics. And here I have some parts that maybe I can use. If I don't see anything, that's completely fine. What also I would recommend is going to templates and then typing in to-do list. 
Sometimes you can find some templates that are already made for you, for example, like this. So I have my to-do list, I have the task, and then because it's minimal, obviously I'm gonna delete all the flowers and all the stuff. All I'm gonna keep is this text that says task and priority. So let me just delete everything and let me delete this one and this one. <laughs> the goal is that by the time I, I am done, it looks nothing like this. So I'm gonna just choose this color and I'm gonna select everything and I'm gonna change it to uh, the colors I want. Let me just click on this. Here. Um, if I don't want some parts, what I can do, I can actually lock the other parts. So let's say I want these lines and the thing, so then I'm gonna lock it and then I'm gonna select everything else and just delete it. So here, I have that. Now I have to select it again and unlock it. And okay. And I also have these, they're all locked, so that I can move this now. I can put it in the middle if I want, whichever it is. So yeah, that's it. And this I'm gonna delete. So here it is, and I can do my to-do list. Now I'm gonna go to elements and I'm gonna type in line. And I'm gonna select it, and they will show me the lines, and I'm gonna just choose a line. Now this is very thick, so I'm gonna uh, make it lighter. And then I'm gonna turn it around, hold shift. No, maybe not. <laughs> and then go to 90 degrees. And once I'm there, I'm just gonna drag it over here. Move this. And here, my new to-do list is almost ready. Let me just type in the text. So I'm just gonna click T and then put it here. Come on. And I'm gonna write to-do list. Then if I want the check boxes, I can add them here. So all I would do is I would click this shape or you can click uh, R for a rectangle and then I'm gonna make it smaller, holding shift up and do it. And then I'm gonna drag it over here. If that's what I want, if that's the style. Maybe I want something more funky, so I'm gonna, instead of a square, I'm gonna do like a thin rectangle. And then all I need to do now is just copy and paste. So if you hold Alt key, it actually lets you to just drag it out. Select it again and just do uh, repeat the same thing and repeat the same thing. And now uh, after you're done, you can also select all of them and make sure that they are aligned. So I will just go to position come on, and align vertically. And then I'm just gonna copy this and drag the rest. By holding the shift key, I make sure that it's all aligned. And here it is, here's my to-do list. And that's how you create widgets. And this I'm gonna delete because it's too many. So yeah, if you don't like something, you can adjust, you can also select all of them. What I like to do is I like to select the objects that are easier to select, lock them up, and then I align the rest like that. Position and vertically. So now all you would need to do is click share, click download, and download as a PNG, as a transparent background file. If you don't have Canva Pro, just get a free trial for 30 days and then cancel it um, and just do it. It's just the easiest and the quality is going to be the best. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions of what kind of video you would want to see next, just let me know in the comments and see you in the next video.